Hey guys, I'm actually sitting outside a cafe right now because I came here to study and then um, inside was too loud so I came out here where it's more quiet and also I have a presentation meeting in a couple of minutes so I figured I would just do it out here but I just wanted to film a intro to my video because I wanted to explain what you're gonna see in the beginning it's more of just the weeks leading up to me going to rotations and then towards the end of the video it's gonna be me actually on rotations but keep an eye out for a video later on that summarizes my feelings and my experience of each rotation I plan to do one of these for each place that I go to but not entirely sure about that yet so I hope you enjoyed this video if you do give it a thumbs up and let's get into it that we were gonna go because there's like literally nothing else in this area <laughs> besides yeah. the Met. Um, we just come from the Met. Yeah. It was very cool. We just went for the fashion. Anyways, we saw like a couple of exhibits with like a coat that George Washington wore and then a coat that Abraham Lincoln wore and that was really cool especially because he wore that one I think during his when, assassination. Yeah. Um, and you can actually see like the part that they took off because it had blood stains on it, I think. Do you think we're going to find anything at the thrift store? I hope so. Someone <laughs> told me it was a good one, so I, I hope have high so hopes too. now. Um, but I don't know. Goodwill is, I think it's like iffy. Yeah. It's like, it's like hit or miss. I'm going there for work clothes, so let's see how much I can find. I'm going there for literally anything. So. <laughs> I am wearing um, ca business casual and I have my white coat with me I'm heading to the hospital now which is very exciting but also very nerve-wracking at the same time I started off my morning and I got bit on the face by a mosquito that was basically such a great start but now I'm heading off to the hospital and I kind of just wanted to document this moment because it's a very very special day and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video hey guys so i realize it's really dark but it is currently nine and i just got off um my second day at the hospital i will say compared to the first day i think today was a little slower i think i still got to see a good amount of patients and although i didn't get to do a lot of procedures I think just the exposure to seeing all these different things is really nice so let's hope that the last day in the green unit goes well 
morning, almost afternoon. Today is Sunday. I have a Sunday shift from 11 to 11 p.m. And um, honestly, I don't know how I'm going to do that because if you know me at all, I'm not a morning person. I mean, I am a morning person. I'm not a night owl. All right, guys, it is currently 11.06. I don't even know if you can see me because it's, I'm in the dark. But um, it's time to go home. Today's shift was actually not as crazy as yesterday's. Um, there weren't as many procedures and things, but I did learn a lot because I actually followed around a PA today. And I feel like with that, there's a little bit more teaching moments just because they understand how um, like critical it is that this is for our education. So I really like that she was there. Um, I learned so much today. I did more in the sense that I like saw patients on my own and then presented them to her. So I'm really glad that I'm making like tiny steps every single day. Tomorrow's my last 12 hour shift of this week and then time to study for the EOR. Hi guys. So today was my last shift of this week in the fast track and I'm not gonna lie. Today was probably like my most favorite day out of everything and it was because I actually worked with my preceptor today and like I learned so much. I wished that I got to work with him every day because I would just be seeing so many things, learning so many things. It's not to say that the other people that I've worked with don't teach me, but I don't know, it's just different. I'm kind of speechless. Like, he even let me go early, but then there was this interesting case that came in. And I mean, I really don't want to go because I really like the blue area and the blue unit and then he was like you're welcome to stay if you want but I, i'm telling like he was like i'm telling you you can go home and so i just stayed because i like i didn't even care to go home um but i just wanted to see like what was happening and the case that i'm talking about it was a shoulder reduction because someone came in with the dislocated shoulder and it was just so crazy how they went about trying to get it back in today was a good day i just it like this shows me why i came into this field to begin with um and i'm just so excited to see like what else is in the other departments yeah i like literally don't even have words for that but now i'm gonna go home and then i'm gonna shower study for the rest of the week and then we are back next week hi guys so i'm currently walking back to my car my shift just ended it's like 9 15 i stayed a little over today just because um there was a patient that came in and i went in to see her went over time a little bit and then it was fine also i'm out of breath because in order to get back to my car i have to kind of walk up this hill slash mountain so yeah that's why i'm so out of breath all right so i'm just gonna give you a little bit of a recap of my day um today i was in a different section of the hospital and the attending and the pa that i worked with in the morning shift they were actually really nice i told them that it was my first rotation and they were super um open about it and just gave me a bunch of advice on what i should be doing as a student so um he asked me like what week is this and I said my third week and he said okay like I think by now you should be a little bit more comfortable seeing patients on your own and presenting so I kind of pushed myself to do that today and I'm really glad I did because I did get a lot more comfortable seeing patients on my own and also just reminding myself that I'm still a student there's still so much for me to learn and grow hi everyone I just got back from the cafe and I wanted to kind of show you guys what I keep in my book bag and what I bring to rotations specifically for the one that I'm on right now which like I said in the previous clips is emergency med so I originally on my first day brought a like shoulder bag and then I quickly realized that it is way too heavy it looks better like more professional in a sense but 
it's just more practical to actually bring a book bag with double straps. So I'm going to show you guys what I bring on a day to day basis and what I actually use. If you have any questions about anything, just leave it down below. The book bag that I bring, like I've had this book bag for so long. I think this was my sister's elementary school book bag not gonna lie it's from nike and it's just like this black book bag so in the first pocket i've got some lotion this is highly recommended just because you wash your hands and you hand sanitize your hands so much throughout the day that if you didn't moisturize your hands would literally fall off just like all the skin would just fall off so lotion is a must for me um and then i have lip balm as well as hand sanitizer and for some reason i have two i don't know why i also have some candy just because um during the day you can get hungry and it's always good to have a snack i know there's not much nutritional value in here but this will buy me a couple of hours before i can get some actual food in me i also have a small kind mini bar like i said any little bit of food is good to keep me for a couple of hours until i can actually get my lunch or my dinner and then next i have a pair of gloves um i'm not sure why i keep this in here i think i might have just have them in my pocket from one day and then just shoved it in my bag because i didn't know where else to put it next i keep a couple of extra masks and um, as for like the N95s, they have them stocked at the hospital. So if I need to go into a room where I know the patient has an airborne illness, I'll specifically grab a mask just for that patient. But for the regular like person that I'm seeing, I just wear an N um, like a surgical mask and it's totally fine. Then I also bring these goggles. I've never used them yet, but I know a lot of my professors say that if you're going to do an IND, for a patient like you need your eye protection so this is what they look like these i had since chem lab which was like freshman year of college next i have my stamp that my school had us purchase it just says my name my um role which i'm a pa student and then my university and then I keep this Snellen chart just in case I need it for a patient. Usually I don't because they get sent to the eye room, which is already equipped with all of this stuff. So that's just a personal preference why I bring that. And then I also have some headphones in case I want to listen to some music in the residence lounge. Next, I bring a phone charger and i have yet to use this but if you're going to be there for a super long time this is essential because your phone may run out of battery um and they have so many charging outlets or just outlets in general so as long as you have the charger you're good to go this is my emergency pack i guess that's what you would call it in here i carry Basically everything I would need on a day-to-day -day basis. I have some like allergy medications, sunscreen, tissues, eye drops, um, deodorant, some alcohol swabs. I also have naloxone in here just because I got this I think last year and like they always tell us to bring this everywhere we go just in case. So it's just in my, in my emergency pack. I also have some Dayquil. And then after that, I also know that I keep an extra pair of contacts in here. Just in case something gets into my eye and I have to wash it out, I have my vision right here. Next, what I carry is my stethoscope case. Um, and this just carries most of my equipment. The only thing that I really take out of this is my stethoscope which I carry on my neck every day I go onto the floor. Um, I also have like the reflex hammer, the tuning fork, um, some like, I don't know what this is, tape measure, like everything just goes in here and I zip it up and it just stays in my bag. And then I'll carry my pencil case just in case I need some extra pens or whatever, everything is in here. And then I also have my water bottle. When I'm 
all done with the day, I have my white coat, which is right here. It's a super big mess right now because it's dirty. Here, I carry a piece of paper as well as a pen for all the patients that I see, I, like write down their names and like their date of births and whatnot. And then lastly, where is it? Okay. These are things that I carry on me, so either in my jacket pockets or in my scrub pockets. So I have this tiny like notepad thing that I use to write all my patients stuff in here but now it's more so like things that I should look over so if I'm talking to an attending and I get pimped on something but I don't know what it is I'll write it down and then the next day I'll like look it up um and kind of go more in depth with stuff so I have ATLS which stands for advanced trauma life support and like what are the components of that I also carry this Maxwell quick medical reference which is from the APA, when you start PA school and you join this um, organization, they'll send this to you for free. So this basically has everything you ever need for anything, literally, um, has normal lab values, drug serum levels, what to include on your pre-op, op notes, post-op, procedure notes, APGAR scoring, like literally everything with your physical exam you can find in this. And then there's also another Snellen chart on the back. And then lastly, always have an extra pen because you never know when your pen may run out of ink. And then I have my ID. But yeah, that's everything I carry and I hope it was insightful for you in case you're going on rotation soon and you don't know what to start out with. I think this is a pretty good base of what you would want to have. Um, if you're going to like an outpatient place that doesn't have certain things like blood pressure cuffs, or um, your ophthalmoscope, like obviously you would need to bring those as well. But at the hospital that I'm at, they have all of that. So yeah, that's basically everything I carry. Um, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in my next video and I hope that it's going to go up sooner than later. I do have a lot more time off this semester because I'm not constantly in the classroom, but with that time off comes more studying on my own because I have my EORs and whatnot. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!